lip spammy, hair spammy, lash spammy, stop I'm gonna keep it moving, be classy and graceful. I told them it's no friends in the Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Charmaine Latanya. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you already said by the title, I'm going to be doing my quick weave bob um, for you guys today. Um, it's not going to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial. I would just be like ranting and talking about a few um a few things. I'm going to be discussing my 2020 goals and different plans and things that I'm trying to do this year so like I said it won't be like a step-by-step -step tutorial it'll just be me basically just talking to you guys and yeah share my thoughts um the hair that I'm using is the organique I have I got it still on the hat I'm using the organique shape and go master mix so if you've seen my previous video then you've seen when I did my review and you also see when I gave my final review of the Organic Master Mix hair. And I had it in the color 613 and the lips 18, 20, and 22. This is in the color 1B and I have the lips 14, 16, and 18. Because obviously I'm doing a bob, like I said, so I didn't want too long of lips. Just so I can have like, you know, it won't take off. Well, it won't take as much when I'm cutting hair. Because I just feel like when you got long hair and you're trying to cut hair... It's just kind of pointless, to be honest. But yeah, so it's the same hair, same, you know, you see the closure here. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm just going to get right into it. Right into it. I'm just cutting off the closure. So we are already, we are already six days into into 2019 i mean ugh, 2019 we are already six days into 2020 um i'm actually really really excited excited for this new year i have a lot of things planned a lot of things planned. i have a lot of things planned a lot of business related things planned um life goals plan i just have a lot of things that i want to accomplish this year long um as far as business wise and as goals wise like i do want to start saving more money because i'm reckless i'm really 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 re reckless when it comes to saving money so i do want to get my saving habits more together want to start focusing more on saving because i be i recklessly spend well i recklessly spend money i'm not good with saving at all um so i kind of want to start saving better i'm not gonna say more i'm gonna just say better so i'm starting to budget my money this year so i have this um what i'm doing to um, help me with that I have this journal. I have this journal. I'll show you guys in a second. But I have this journal that's kind of basically my guide to like saving. It's helping me. Uh, it's my guide to saving. It's basically helping me save, like keep track of my saving and my spending. Um, I set weekly budgets. So the amount of money that I want to spend during the week. So say for instance, uh, we started this week with because it's Monday today right now. It's Monday. I think it's like the seventh or the sixth. No, it's the sixth. So we started this week. Um, and my my weekly budget would be twenty five dollars. That would be my weekly budget. And so for the whole entire week, I would basically only be living off of that $25 so however and that goes for like anything that I want so any wants any wants that I'm trying to um that I'm trying to like like food if I wanted like some shoes I just can't get no shoes because it's only five dollars so unless I'm gonna save up that $25 to get those shoes then clearly but like food like stuff that you just find yourself carelessly excuse me carelessly spending money on so like food um going out with friends um 
um, just buying little stuff that you just don't even need. Like you go to Target and you didn't buy Starbucks and then you bought a purse and you bought some pants. Like just just carelessly spending money because you have it. So I'm trying to limit that because I do that a lot. I need to go get a book out of here. So like I was saying, um, I just want to keep better track of my spending habits and help me better my spending habits and to get them under control. I got this journal for Christmas and it's a um it's not really like a journal where you go and you sit and you jot things down. I'm gonna go to a blank page. But it's a journal where you keep track of like your spending. So here you see it says monthly budget and you have your starting checking account and then like your ending and checking account balance and what you're saving. Um and then your ending saving goals for saving. And then you have your weekly budget. So like I said, I keep track of what I'm spending weekly. Because I work in, I work at the airport. So, um, you know, first of all, airport food is expensive. But the fact that there is food at the airport. You know, you sit there and you want something. You might have something already, but you want something else. It's always like that. Um, and then I just add it up over here. Everything that I spent throughout the week in my weekly total and what I'm giving myself and then what I ended up with and what I have now, needs, wants, impulses, whatever the case may be. It's a really good tool to help to use to help, especially if you're on budget. And the main reason why I'm really trying to save, one of the main reasons that I really want to save One of the main reasons that I really want to save is because I'm trying to get a car. Inches are from 16, 16, 14, and 18 inches. I'm not going to use the 18 inch because if you did watch my previous video, then you will know that I only use two bundles for that um, wig. So I'm only going to use two bundles for this one. But I was just about to glue down the 14 inch when I thought about it. Excuse me, and it's the longest length at the back and then the shortest at the front. So, I caught myself. This is the 16 inch that I'm breaking into right now. But so, yeah, I'm trying to get me a car. You girl, I've been taking Ubers, and I just feel like, out of like the amount of Ubers I've been taking since I've been without a car, I could have. So, I ain't really too pleased about all that. So right now I'm trying to just save every penny, every dime, every everything to um to get me a car. And that's that. I'm not gonna say what type of car, but when I do get it, y'all gonna know, y'all gonna see me a whole big thing, but. The goals, I, I have a few goals for 2020, like, um, I have a lot. I want to accomplish a lot this year. I do, I am in college. I hate school, but I am in college. And, um, I do plan on graduating this year. So, that's one of the goals I do have for 2020. Another goal that I have for this year would obviously be to get my car. Um, another goal would just be to stay consistent. Another goal would just be to, to stay consistent with everything that I do because I do, I am always doing a lot, but I'm never, I am always doing a lot, but I'm never like, um, staying consistent like with YouTube um I enjoy you I enjoy YouTube but I can never stay consistent and then there's always some excuse you know what I'm saying like you're not having enough time or finding enough time or whatever it's always something so I plan to try to stay consistent which is why I've been popping up with the hair reviews with y'all for y'all for the past two weeks, I've been trying to upload a video at least once a week until I get in the habit of forming 
videos twice a week, three times a week, and etc. So that's another goal for 2020. Obviously, a goal is to save because even after I get a car, you know what I'm saying? You can't be going broke on no car. You can't be out here like that. So I just need to save up a decent amount of money. And then also, I want to move. I want to move into my own place. Um, I feel like that it's time for me to move into my own place. I did have my own place when I was like in college, when I had roommates. So I did the same thing. But I do want to um, move into my own place. I'm just, the thing about me moving though, is like I'm really, really picky. So, I'm picky and I'm cheap. Because in my mind, rent shouldn't even be that high. Like, why? Why am I paying nine hundred dollars for an apartment? Like, like for a one for a one bedroom or something? Like, that's that's weird. That's doing too much. You know what I'm saying? I live in Chicago, and um, rent is not like LA or New York high, but it's high enough. It's high enough to make me like reconsider, like wonder, like what the fuck is really going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like. The rent could be cheap, but then like it'll look it don't it won't it'll look cheap. Like it won't look good. Like I don't wanna live there. Like I wanna live somewhere nice. I want like I want like floor to ceiling windows. I want like a dormant. So I wanna live in like a building where there's floors where I'm on like the twentieth floor and I have a balcony and I got floor to ceiling windows. And when you come into my building there's a doorman and Grisha and he gotta call my phone and say like um he got to call my phone and say, oh, you have a guest downstairs. Can I send them up? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and don't get me wrong. Those apartments aren't, like, super expensive if, like, depending. Because, I mean, when you when you get in, when you get start looking for apartments, you realize, like, the pros and cons. And you realize, like, what you're actually paying for. Part of the payment, part of the rent is you paying for the apartment. And then the other part of the rent is you paying for the neighborhood that you're staying in. So, like, right now, I'm staying good. I mean, rent still, you know, I mean, it's high, but it ain't, like, skyrocket high. So, it's like, if I move to, like, a nicer, more calmer neighborhood, then it's like the rent might be higher just off the strength that this is a nicer, more calmer neighborhood and the apartment is nice as fuck, too. So, that's what I try to think about as well. Like, when you see the rent, how you like, well, it might be a nicer neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't mind. Now, at first, I swear, at first, I was telling myself, like, I'm not paying, like, you can ask anybody. I just say, I'm not paying over $750 for rent. Like, I don't know why I thought I was going to live at, but, like, it just was realistic to me. Like, it's just me. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm like, why do I have to pay all this money for rent? That's just absurd. But as I started to look for, like, apartments, I'm like, no, like, I have to really expand my budget. You know what I'm saying? I have to really, like, think about this. So, um, so I started to just feel like, okay, well, a thousand dollars is not that bad. Like if I can find a really, really nice apartment for a thousand dollars, that's within my means. Like that's, that's within my means. Like I have a good job or whatever. So I feel like that's, that's within a, the appropriate budget. I feel like that's within an appropriate budget for me to be like, okay, well, I could live there type shit. So, um yeah currently though i mean i was looking at one point in time i was looking i'm not looking no more because i'm trying to focus on the car so it's kind of like i have a real bad problem of trying to do i have a real i have a real bad problem of trying to do so many things at once like that's that's my problem i have a really bad problem of trying to do so many different things at once that's my problem so, I decided to kind of just, you know, take a little baby step back and focus on one thing at a time. So, the thing I'm going to focus on right now is my apartment. I mean, not my apartment, but my car. Because that's something I need before I even move. Because I just feel like that's just, you just have to have a car before you leave. I mean, some people like to, you know what I'm saying? Some people would rather move and then get a car i just feel like no because i'm spending a lot of money on transportation to the point like this is rent plus a car plus the, plus the car note utilities 
you know what I'm saying, furniture for the kitchen and all that shit. So, I personally rather get my car first. I cannot depend on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm trying to can, but I can't. So, that's just how I feel. And that's my prerogative. So, I'm trying to focus on getting my car first. Once my car is in route, once I have that down pack, then I could say, okay, so where am I going to stay? And then I could start looking for my apartment. And then I want to have a reasonable amount saved up. Because, I mean, like, like I just told y'all, I, I know that wherever I move to, the rent is going to be pretty steep. Like, it ain't going to be cheap. It's going to be at least 900 to a stack, maybe even $1,100. So, I need to save up. I need to save up a decent amount. Like, for sure. I need to save up a decent amount. So, with that, this whole right. Placement. Okay, so with that, with me knowing, like, for a fact, rent gonna be expensive, once I get my car, I can focus on saving. And I wanna, like, once I hit, I wanna save up at least $6,000. Once I'm halfway through there, which is $3,000, that's when I wanna, um, that's when I wanna start, like, actually looking. Excuse me, I wanna start actually, like, not looking as in, like, on the internet. But I want to start, like, going to open houses or viewings and kind of, like, going to scan neighborhoods, looking at the building, asking questions. That's when I want to start doing that and kind of, like, weighing options and kind of getting a list of, like, okay, so this is the five apart these are the five apartments that I'm thinking about. This is the three that I'm thinking about. Once I'm at my six, that's when I'm, like, okay, so which one now if you get this money? Because you want somebody to get it today. Like, that's... That's the process I'm gonna take. So, with that, it's gonna come, a lot, come with a lot of saving. So, that's why, excuse me, I'm on this real, like, I've never done this before. I never put myself on like a strict budget. Like, I, I'm not gonna say I was carelessly like spending, but I was a fantastic. But it was like, I would have money saved though. Like, I have like a hundred in my like penny drawer. I had like 300 in my savings account. And now I feel like cool. That's cool until I get paid again. And then, you feel me? I'll do it again. But. I'm spending such a large amount, like from 400 to like big checks. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm still spending a large amount on nothing and I have nothing to show for. Like nada. You feel me? So I have to, um, I'm just realizing that I have to, I'm sorry, I'm snacking. Ooh, I'm just realizing I have to change up quite a few things if I want to live the life that I want to live. I mean, it just, it come, you got to change. You got to change up some things if you want to do some, you know, some things that you've never done before. Like, I've never, I've never saved. And I don't even, I literally only been saving for like a few days. Like what? I think Saturday was the day that I realized this was gonna be hard because I'm at work. I didn't pack a lunch, and I was just like, "Oh my god! Like I can't spend no money. Like I like I can't. Like what am I gonna do?" It was really hard. It was definitely definitely hard. But I mean, I got through it. It was really good. But also today, like when I was. Usually, because usually I would catch the, the Uber to the beauty supply store. Even though the beauty supply store is around the corner for me, I just don't like the fact of having to walk places. Like, that's, what? So, I'm like, you know, I usually would take an Uber, and the Uber don't usually be that much. It's $3. There and back, it's like $6. But today, I realized, like, I can't do that. 
if I'm genuinely trying to save money, like if I'm genuinely trying to save money and I'm trying to be on this budget, I can't be doing it. I can't be trying to take no $3 Ubers around the corner. So you know what I had to do? I bitch had to walk. I had to put on my walking shoes, which in fact are very comfortable. <laughs> Not for real though. Like I had to I had to walk. Which is probably the most ghetto shit ever. No, I'm just but no, nah, it, it I mean like I just don't like walking. Like mm. But I mean it wasn't bad. It wasn't that cold outside for some reason, you know. That's another story. But it ain't cold outside. And this is Chicago. You know it's winter time, but it's not cold at all. So I was able to walk. It, it didn't take me that long. It didn't take that long at all. I mean, I knew it wasn't because I've done it multiple times before, but that was like a long time ago. Like that was then, this is now type thing. So, you know, but it is what it is. I'm gonna have to get used to doing it. And then it's crazy because I wanted to stop and get me something to eat. And I'm just like, you got food at home. Like, you know, like I got to that point where I'm like, what you get something? You got food at home. Like just went grocery shopping. My mama just went grocery shopping. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got food here. I don't need to stop and get some food. It's just like, I don't even have to be hungry. Like, I don't even have to, like, want it for real. It's just the fact that I have the money to get it that I feel like, you know, like, I want it back. Like, just because I got the the means to do it. Like, just because I got the money to do it, I'm just going to do it. I don't need to be hungry. I'm just buying food just because. Like, I don't, I don't even need anything. I'm just buying it just because. You know what I'm saying? So, just because I have the means to get it, that's when I want it. Like, oh, I got the money for it, so why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I could. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I could. Why not? And that's where we fuck up at. <laughs> that's where we fuck up at. And before we get any further to the video, I just want to say that. How I do my cookies and how you do your cookies will be totally different. Totally fine. Um, that's how I do mine. You do you, how you do it. Um, this work, this just works for me. And I'm scared. Like I don't know because I'm I don't know because the hair when I used the two packs it was thick. I don't like the pops. I'm not doing this a lot. I'm gonna spit it out. I don't think I will. Yeah, so it's it's requiring me to it's requiring me to get a, a lot of discipline. Hmm, that's the word I was looking for. A lot of discipline comes with this. A whole lot. A whole lot. And it's hard. It's really hard. It's really freaking hard. Um, but nothing in life, nothing that's good comes easy, or however the saying goes. I think it's good like that. Nothing that's good come easy. Um, but if, yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, nothing in life that's good is gonna come easy. I just said the same thing. Okay. My stand is so unstable, like the ghetto. So yeah, a lot of discipline, a whole a lot of discipline, which clearly I've never had before, clearly. Cause I mean, I used to get paid. <laughs> and it's funny cause I used to never have any money by the time I got paid again. Like where did it go? And it's funny because like, where the fuck did it go? Like to this day, I don't know. And I've, so I've come up with like, the okay, the digit app. I don't know how many of you look at your bank statements before I get into the digit app. I don't know how many of you look at your bank statements, but I never did until yesterday or no, Saturday. And I was looking and my, my, my statements was two pages long front and back. And I was just appalled. Like I was so shocked because he kept telling me like, at the end, I guess at the end, it kept like, it kept telling me like, oh, I, I statements if I started off for like $800. And then the page will go and then it'll say, 
ended in like five something. And I would be like, I don't even see how I spent $300. Like what was I doing? Then the next page. And then it was like, went from like $3 to like 80, to like $43. Then went from $43 to 43 cents. It was something like that. I was so shocked. I'm like, I am sick. I'm sick. Cause I don't be buying, like I don't buy nothing good. And when I'm saying net to say like, I don't have anything to show for it. I might buy an outfit or two. And then everything else is just like up in the air. Like food, liquor, Ubers, dumb stuff. Like it's never nothing that I can sit up here and be like, hey guys, I got this. It's gonna last me a lifetime. Like no. And that's bad because like I've had, I've touched so much money in 2019 and did not handle it no type of right way at all. Like I didn't handle it correctly at all. Like I don't know where that money went. Sorry to, sorry to the hundreds because I don't know where they at. I don't even, I can't even tell you. I can't even begin to tell you like something good that I bought in 2019. Like I don't even know. Oh, I signed up for Forex. <laughs> That's really all I got. You feel me? Like, I don't know. No car. Like, shoes and clothes don't count. You know what I'm saying? We grown as fuck. You, you're gonna have shoes and clothes, my nigga. Like, you ain't just out here. You're not just out here naked. Like, you got shoes and clothes. Like, that don't even count. Hair don't even count. You're gonna get your head on. Like, that, that stuff don't count. Like, what did you do? What did you invest in? Like, Besides my lip gloss stuff, because that wasn't a lot, I didn't do anything good with my money. And I can't have my 2020, I can't have my 2020 going the same way. Otherwise, we just repeating cycles. And that's not what, that's not what I was thinking for. So, I'm definitely going to be making some changes. Um simple as that to my everyday regimen to my life my spending hat to everything everything possible i'm going to be making some changes to um because we're getting older and we're getting older are we really is staying down though i didn't think it would have i'm staying because i'm staying checking it tonight i can't remember because I never glued this down. Like I was saying, um, we're getting older. And I'm going to start making some changes to my everyday life to prepare me for the future. Um, I did a vision board with my book club. Because I'm in a book club. I joined, the book club started in like late August. So as our closing, one of our closing meetings of 2019, we made a vision board. So there's a lot of things I plan to get accomplished on my vision board. And looking at my vision board, like looking over it, I see how like um, I've changed in the aspect of like my I, like clutter. Like now I like to keep everything like organized and simple, straight to the point. Usually. I'm all over the place. Like my vision board would have been colorful, pictures everywhere, not like a clear direction of what I'm trying to accomplish. But more recently, I've become very organized in a lot of my um in a lot of things that I'm trying to accomplish and just my life in general. Which and it's also just it's helping me a lot because it's helping me realize like one, you are growing, and two, like you are um realizing the areas of your life where you need to you know grow so yeah i kind of um my vision board is pretty simple and right to the point but the message is still very big and bold and there's a clear direction and that's what i like because i can look at it and say you could anyone could look at me like oh so you want to do that and you plan on doing this and that you gonna make sure you have this and the third, you know? Versus like it's just so much going on. 
I was really hesitant about getting on camera and doing this. Um, I was really hesitant about getting on camera. And doing this. My guy best friend told me that I should make a tutorial video for y'all. And I was like, nah, those are really hard. <laughs> I've tried to do a tutorial before. And I don't think I like the outcome. Otherwise, it would have still been up. So, maybe in the long run. Hopefully, this video makes it up. Like, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But maybe in the long run, well, if it's requested, I'll do a tutorial. Like an in-depth tutorial. But um, other than that, we're just going to stick with the little chit-chats. Because I just rather not. So this bundle is almost done. And as you can see, it feels its purpose like. And I don't, I was really hesitant about doing the bob because like, I don't really know how to cut it. Like, this is too much. This is too much. Anyway, it's just really hard for me to cut here. So, bob length. I'm probably, cause my neck about this long. It's about, it's about that long. So more than likely I'll be cutting it I'll be cutting that much. And then I'll see if I should cut some more. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know. And then, like, I want to, the cut to be, like, sharp. Like, Easter Sunday sharp. Like, I want it to be hitting, like, cutting corners, like, for sure. And I don't, my clippers, I don't think they're working. I did pick up any shears like I was supposed to from the beauty supply store, so... These will be working with. And they could do, they could do the job. They could possibly do the job. Um, we just have to see. So we're back. And we're about to just jump right into the most tedious part um, of this entire video, which will be cutting the uh, hair. So right now I'm just brushing everything down and in place to make sure that every piece of hair is just in place. And I'm gonna start from the front and I'm just gonna take off little by little. I have to like this. I'm gonna take off little by little. So I'm just gonna start here and just take off a little by little because I I'd rather take off little and then have to go back in and fix it you know what I'm saying then take off too much and then I can't go back in and fix it So hopefully this is a better angle because the first angle wasn't cutting it. But like I said, I'm just cutting along. I'm cutting really, really, I'm cutting a little at a time just so in case I have to go back in and fix it. And um, I rather just cut a little and then cut a lot. Place the scissors that I did have because those were kind of like not really. I wasn't really putting them. And these are cutting much better. A 
Okay, so this is the final product. Um, let's just have a look on the side. Off camera, what I did was I went in and kind of like, off camera, what I did was I went in and I kind of um, trimmed it a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit lower, like I put a little bit more off. And then after that, I went in and I just kind of like evened it out as much as I could. I flattened it and I laid everything as flat as possible using a um, stocking cap and a blow dryer. And I put a little bit of mousse and a little bit of um, gossamy on the mini edge here. And I also filled in my part with some foundation and concealer. Like I said, well, if, if I didn't mention this already, it could take up to 400 um, as far as heat. So I flat ironed it on the setting 390 to give it this really, like I really wanted to like get it really flat and straight. But this is how it's good so far. I'm loving it. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving it. I did think it was going to come out this good, this flat. That's, that's the main thing I was worried about, it not being as flat as I wanted it. So I went the extra mile and did everything that I could to get it as flat and as sleek and cute as possible. And it worked out. Um, these lashes that I have in are by me, okay? These are part of my 23mm collection. This is Party Girl. So that's the lash. Um, oh, but... <laughs> Um, yes, this is the final product. Um, I hope this video was not too long. I tried to, like, um, not make it as long. I really did. Um, but, you know, if you made it to the end of this video, I thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and refer a friend. And make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can get an update on every time I upload a video. I will be doing a final review on this hair. I don't know how this hair will, in particular, will hold up as far as, um, will hold up as far as, like, a bob. Like, you know, I know how this is straight hair, but I don't know how a bob, like, how this hair will take to a bob. But I'm really loving it, like, it's soft, it's doing its thing. This hair will only be up for a week, so by next Sunday, I will be coming back with a different hairstyle. Um... I will be coming back with something different by next by next week, but I just wanted to, you know, I won't say Sunday, but by next week, I will be coming back with a different hairstyle, but this is just something for the week because um, the, the week that I was currently wearing, I was sick of it. I say blase, that's neither here nor there, like I said, so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and turn on that notification bell so you can get updated on every time I upload a video. That's it. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video.